Suku show shi 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 kuku. Got him. Got him. Tushimi. Su shu shu shu. Finally a hook one. Tushimi got the hook in him. Shimi. What's up guys? Today's video is sponsored by Catchco. So we're gonna be doing some kayak fishing down here at the river. Got my kayak, got my Catchco box. And today I'm gonna to be using some baits the Catch Co makes. This new one I'm really excited about is Suko Sukoshi Suku Shoshi Shi Shi Kuku Tushimi Sushu Shushu Bug Tushimi Chime Sukoshi Bug. <laughs> this little bait right here looks like it will be great for like a Ned rig or maybe flipping, maybe doing some flipping. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. It's made with stretch X plastic, so I imagine one of these is gonna last me all day long. But I got some other stuff in the catch co box too that I'm gonna be using. Got this diesel football jig. Right, let's get the kayak and let's get in the water and do some fishing. I'm gonna show you all my setup real quick. I have 12 pound line with a quarter ounce tungsten, a two aught hook with a Sokushi bug. This is like a watermelon color. And that's what we're gonna start out with. See if we can catch some bass, boys. These guys are gar fishing over here. I think he's got one. Oh, he let go of it. All right, you see this bank over here in the shade? That looks like a really good place to start out at. Spray my little bug down with some fish attractant here. Good to go. Oh, marked a fish. Marked another fish and another one. All right, guys. So today I'm going to be testing out this little portable fish finder. This thing was like 50 bucks online. So it's made to tie to your line, and it comes with this little transducer here. And you tie the transducer to your line when bank fishing and throwing it out. But what I've done is just tie it to a string on my kayak, and I'm just dragging it with my kayak. And I'm watching it on this, so you can see it shows that it's five foot deep here, and it marked a little bit of grass or a stick or something down there. I mean, I just couldn't rationalize paying like $200 for a portable fish finder whenever I don't bank fish that much, but for using it like this, just attaching it to my kayak and using it to see how deep the water is, you know, find ledges and stuff, this thing should work great. It, it's working pretty great so far anyway. Because this here is the Catchco Heavy Metal Football Jig. And there's a lot of crawdads in this river, a lot. So that's one of the primary food sources that the bass on here feed on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my little Sakushi bait and I'm gonna put it on the jig here. Whenever I put a jig on, I always take the trailer and I hold it like this, that way I can know where I need to put the hook in. So for it to still be straight, the hook needs to come out right there. That felt like a bite. That is a bite. Oh, sh Broke my damn line. Mudfish. What I'm doing right now, guys, this is the gar. This is what I call the gar hole here. You guys can see the gar rolling up there. And there's a bunch of mudfish and a bunch of gar. So lately, where all the gar and the mudfish are at, I haven't been catching any bass. So I'm hanging back at the beginning of the hole before it drops off to get deep. And I'm fishing that drop off right here. I'm gonna throw up here at the bank. See if there's any bass up here on this bank. I'm just gonna throw up there and I'm gonna work my worm back to the boat off that bank. Kind of slow. Oh, that was a bite. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good bass, too. There we go. All right. We got us a bass, boys. I think I good hooked him. Yep. I'm gonna have to get that hook out. There we go. I got the hook out of him. He's bleeding pretty bad. Let's see if it'll swim off. He swim off. He'll be alright. You guys see this tree in the water right here? This looks like a really good area for some bass to be hanging out at. Ooh, that felt like a bite. That was a bite. Got him! 
All right, finally I hooked one. What is it? Oh, mudfish. No. I didn't bring him. Oh, he got off. Thank God. I did not bring any pliers, guys, and I did not want to have to handle that mudfish. So I'm glad he got off. Oop, that's a bite. Ah, oh, that was a brim. Had to be a brim. One good thing about these baits is the Stretch X plastic. If I was fishing with anything else, the war mouth or the brim or whatever would have done took my claws. I'd be replacing them. I would have done went through three or four baits. That's a nice little one. Trying to figure out where the hell the bass are at. The river's been hit pretty hard lately though. Been a bunch of people down here. You guys see that stump out there in the water? Oh, something's biting it. I'm going to let him take it. It's probably a brim or a warm mouth. I got the hook in it. Whatever it is, it got me hung up right in that root. I could feel it on there, though. I knew there was a fish in there. I knew he'd get me hung up. He went right down in there. Look at that. <clears throat> Broke my line. Oh, something bit it. Uh, I told you guys. Oh, a little warm mouth. That's what's been biting that I've been missing. A little warm mouth. That's why I ain't got the hook in them. All right, guys, I'm going to try out this other bait I got from Catchco, Bio Bait. It's a little leech. Got the hook in him. Got the hook in him. Oh, what is this? What is this? A mudfish. Daggum mudfish. It's a big mudfish too, holy cow. Oh, he got me soaking wet. Guys, these things are a fun fight, but they're a pain in my butt to get my hook back. Open up now. Check him out, boys. Look at that mudfish right there. Check out that dinosaur, guys. That thing is a brute. All right, let's let it go. He's off. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. Daggum it. Every time I hook him right there, he gets me in that stick. Every time. I always get a bite there, and I always get hung up. Well, it looks like we might get a little bit of rain, guys. As long as it ain't lightning, I'm fine with that. So I want to talk a little bit more about this Sokushi bug here. This thing is made out of Stretch X plastic. It's basically designed to be a small creature bait. Really perfect for Ned rigging, and it's got ribs on it. So the ribs give it a more natural feel when the fish grab it. It's also got these little arms on it, so that makes it sink a little bit slower. Ooh, that was a bite. Ah, missed him. All right, we're going to try a different color. If you're wondering why it comes in this kind of packaging, it's because the Stretch X stuff, it will melt. If you keep it with other worms and stuff, it'll melt. It'll melt to that stuff. So that's why it comes in this cool little packaging like this to keep that from happening. Now the water's really dark in here, you see it's really brown, and I was thinking that this this crawl color, this orange, was going to be good, but it's just not hitting it, so I'm going to try the watermelon color. I got the hook in him. I got the hook in him. There we go. Got one. One thing I love about these baits, guys, is you can catch so many fish with it and not have to change it out. Oh, oh that's a bite. He's on there. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that. He choked it. Caught some bait. 
That's probably why I've been missing them. Look how small this thing is. Well, that's good to see there's young bass in here. Good to see they're reproducing. I thought that was gonna be a 10 pounder. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it a day. The frogs are chirping, the mosquitoes will be out soon, so we're gonna get out of here. But if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet. Thank you guys for watching.